Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to share uh, two new products that I'm going to be using uh, for my, this time for my workstation. I have a workstation running uh, Proxmox and uh, I virtualize uh, macOS um, and then I have uh, Trun a TrueNAS uh, also virtual machine on it and I'm planning to add more virtual machines and uh, other um, other uh, project working on it. So I'm uh, having the macOS running on the on a um, an NVMe uh, drive, and TrueNAS too uh, runs on a NVMe. Um, so I wanted to use uh, some um, heat sinks uh, for this NVMe. Um, so I'm going to be using this one. This very simple one for the TrueNAS, which doesn't do much other than uh, storing and uh, on a hard drive uh, has a backup, uh, but I'm running uh, Mac OS as a primary OS, uh, and I wanted to uh, make sure that the uh, MVNE runs uh, cold, actually warm, but not hot, and so I purchased this huge heat sink. Uh, for it. This is the HR092280 Pro and I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, here is the NMVNE &E that I have already is the Samsung 970 Pro. Um, it has a uh, copper heat sink on the back. So let me unbox this two uh, new product. So I'm going to be using this one for the NAS. Uh, it's very simple. It slides. Uh, so you see, it slides uh, out the top. Uh, has some uh, thermal pads already here that you can choose from. Uh, there are another two. And this one is super super simple. You slide in when you put the thermal pads, it just stays on it. And I have the turnouts on an MVNE &E, uh, on a, a expansion card on a PCIe slot. Uh, now let's unbox. Uh, so this is simple, uh, and I'm going to put all the details about this. Uh, um, this things. I paid, I think this is, was very cheap, it was like $4, um, while the this other one that I'm going to unbox now, this was, uh, I paid 16 but usually runs 19 or 22 depending on the time and the store that you bought it. I bought it on AliExpress, I'm going to leave the links for both of them. So let me go put back this guy. Uh, and here is the big one. Uh, so the box is pretty cool, uh, and let's see how it is the uh, the hit thing. Okay, so there are some instruction instructions on uh, uh, how to uh, set up the hit things on a on the MBNE. And the back is in Chinese, so in front of it is in English, which is good. Nothing here, and this is the heat sink. Uh, let me move the box here. And here is the heat sink. It's really cool. Now I choose this one, it's all open compared to other ones that are maybe closed or because I have vents, uh, fans that just uh, blows air on top of it and on the sides so I will have a lot of uh, airflow on it so it should be an optimal uh, situation for my uh, for my MVNE and cooling on it so it doesn't, I don't think you can suggest that uh, it, yeah, so it doesn't come out with the 
uh, screwdrivers or anything so you need to have some uh, screwdriver for this case uh, so I'm having so here basically you unscrew this guys this guy uh, one there are four screws <laughs> pretty tight okay There are four screws here on the other side. Okay. And this guy too. Okay. And this slides out and they have uh, thermal pads already. So if you want to increase the heat dissipation, maybe uh, install a better thermal pad. Usually this this ones that come with this uh, solutions are uh, you know normal ones, uh, not not the best ones. Uh, this just uh, a cover doesn't do anything. Move away, and this is the other thermal pad. So basically the the MBA goes on in here, and then this guy on top of it. Okay, actually the other way around because like this so this is where you screw in on the motherboard here there is a notch for the screw and this is where you attach the to the other side that's it oh uh, so I'm going to be leaving uh, links in, in the description so if you're interested you can and check them out. Uh, leave a, a comment in the comment section. So I know if you are interested in this kind of uh, videos and stuff, uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, share this video, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye bye.